constant innovation, unparalleled education, groundbreaking global business education you'll find only at Oxford College of Business. That's because all we do, all we are, is business education. The Constitutional Assembly, aimed at forming a new constitution, gathered at the House Chambers at 10.30 this morning. Addressing the House, the Speaker requested all participating to give their fullest cooperation to this exercise. In this interim report, the foremost place has been given to Buddhism. It also ensures the unitary status of the country. The power over lands will not be given to the provincial councils but to a special commission. If you take the police commission, it will be appointed by the Constitutional Assembly. There will be a provincial police who will have minor powers to do work within the province. All the major powers will be with the police commission. We have very clearly stated that Sri Lanka shall be a secular state. And I say that, say this with responsibility, any constitution that seeks to treat all of its citizens as its equals must be a secular constitution. We have gone on to say, we have gone on to say, but if the pe Buddhist people wish that a certain status be given to Buddhism, we will not stand in the way. We have very clearly said Sri Lanka must be a federation, a federal state. There is a wrong conception in this country or wrong view that has been spread. Call for federalism comes from the Tamil people because they want to separate from this country. No, sir, we have very clearly stated that the country must remain one. Is that if the country is to remain one, different peoples in this country must have a share of the governance of this country. What has the president has said in his election manifest? He has said that any clause that needs to go in for a referendum will not be changed. That is the framework he operates and that is the view of the SLFP as well. So if we put the best constitution towards a referendum, it will not be discussed but factors like situm, cost of living and other things will overshadow even the best constitution. We all need to arrive at one consensus about the devolution of power. President Mahindra Rajapaksa said that it should be 13 plus 1. And today, we as the SLFP says the very same thing. With regard to Buddhism, we clearly say that we don't need any alternatives. You can't take these alternative proposals forward without our consent, so there is nothing to be afraid of. We have clearly said that there can be interactions between two provinces, but we are against it being unified as one. This proposal talks about an executive prime minister. This comes from the UNP. We don't want an executive president or a prime minister or a governor. What we want is a multi-party democratic system, which religious leader in this country called to change the status of Buddhism. It came from the public hearings and that has made its way to this interim report. So because of the mistakes this government makes, it is fair that the public thinks that the government will say one and do something else. At many instances, we have informed in writing and verbally that we are against this interim report that vouchers to change the unitary status of this country. If the powers of the president is curtailed, then we cannot stop the country breaking into various parts. We are at a crucial juncture with regard to the constitution of this country. In most instances, the views of the joint opposition and the SLFP are the same. But the members of the UNP has not in any way objected to any of the proposals of this interim report. The TNA has not opposed either. So this report is a report of the UNP and the TNA. 